Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got a product review here with this OEM set of star screwdrivers, these little micro ones. This is a T5 through a T10, no skips, well marked, and that beautiful acetate emerald color that I like that I did a, a video on when I first enjoyed this one. I've got a couple others. I'll be working with some of their um, real fine uh, little pick set also in those emerald handles. But anyway, what I decided I wanted to do was build a dedicated knife service kit. And what I needed, first of all, was some dedicated T6 or, or T5 through T10 screwdrivers. And this is designed to snap together in this little triangle. Uh, what I like about it comes in this uh, plastic case, keeps them organized. I have a big set of these Craftsman USA made. I love these. They're excellent, but it's often hard to find the size. You got to spin it around and then finally look for it. Seems like a small issue, but when you've got a row of them kind of mixed up in the toolbox, um, it'd be nice if they had a bigger mark on them. But what's the mystery? Well, two layers. First of all, I had mentioned that I had bought a Penelope. Um, that's this one to complete this kit. You're wondering why I'm wearing woolies right now. It's cold here. It's like 50 degrees here where I am in Montana, and I won't be surprised if there's snow on the peaks in the morning. Um, but anyway, it is still August, though. Not unusual. So anyway, I had mentioned that I supplemented this. I removed one, which was the kind of a chip popper little pry bar, and put in the Penelope to open iPhones. I was wrong about that. What it actually was, was the T9 was missing, and a sharp-eyed commenter pointed that out, a couple of them. And what happened was, yes, I did actually um, order a T9 right here to supplement that kit. But let's take a look at this. Here is the OEM kit, and I started using it, trying to figure out uh, you know, were there any deficits? So, uh, first I tried a Benchmade knife. Most of that, the larger size is T10 or the smaller size um, is less than a T9. But I wanted to work with the T9 here. I've got a Snap-on T9 right there. Craftsman T9 right here. And then I've got my Vera T9 right there. So here is a T9. The standouts on this, on, you know, my beloved... O, uh, o knife parrot um, is a T9. And so here is the, the amount of movement. There's just a tiny bit there. Certainly works with it. You can easily adjust this here. Throw it on the pivot so you can see um, how this spins it out. Zips it right out. Or zips, zips it right. I'll go all the way out so you can see. And then all the way back in. Really nice, nice and snug. Tiny bit of play. Um, the Snap-on T9 right here. This is rock solid in there. No play whatsoever. So even though this little end cap doesn't spin worth a hoot, takes a couple of pounds of force to twist that, the fit on this is, is amazing. The Craftsman here, which are my, kind of the set I'm upgrading or replacing, um, there is a tiny bit of play, but it easily spins this out, as you can see, and back in. So, I love these. I just can't get them anymore. Um, but check this out. Here is the Vera T9. Look at that. What's going on here? Doesn't fit. If I force it in, I can get a connection, but not really enough to spin that. So I grabbed the Vera T8 right here. That one fits in here. See that? Nice and snug like the Snap-on. Allows me to spin that out and spin it back in. No problem. And once I get in, there is no wiggle. I'm, I'm twisting. You can see my fingers, but there is no shaft twisting. So the T8 of the Vera fits this. The T9 of the Craftsman, the T9 of the Snap-on, and the T9 of my dedicated new OEM tools all fit this beautifully. And by the way, this spins 
So nice. I wish there was a giant nine on the back of it, just so I could easily tell. But in this set, it's going to work out great. I'm going to work with other things like this nice strop, dual-sided leather strop on a nice wood platform from uh, Sharpal or Sharpal. Um, this is wonderful. I've been using it. I'm going to make a video about it, but I'm also going to go into some other uh, tools for knife maintenance. And I was going to start with these because a lot of times those little screws, they start to come undone or you want to adjust it. So, you know, you can get the flick just perfect for however you would like to interact with the knife. But anyway, there is the OEM set of tools. This is about 15, 16 bucks on Amazon, which is not bad for a nice set. That's a, what you're going to pay a little, maybe a little less for one of these. Um, so uh, that's a comparison there. These are eBay now, if you want USA made Craftsman Torx, unfortunately. And then these, um, the prices depend, it's all over the place, actually. If you, you price these things out, depending on the sizes, and I'm not sure why that is, but anywhere from like seven bucks to 15 bucks a piece. But when I want to know, maybe somebody can help me out here, why is the eight the one that fits? where everybody else's nine fits. Yes, I understand that HF is holding function, which can affect the way it fits. If we can see that, there's a little bit of, maybe maybe you can't, there's kind of a twisting, which is designed to stick into to the Torx fastener and really grab it. But, I mean, that does. That's, that's a nice, solid fit with an eight. Everyone else's nine fits, and this nine, look at that, just spins. So, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm really here to show you this. It's a nice set, it's close enough, it's good enough, and it's one that I'm going to actually dedicate to a knife maintenance kit that I'm building. Comes in this kit, or in this holder here. Real simple design, keeps them organized. And with that, Dock out.